Definitely. Oh! Hey guys, it's Ro, welcome back to the channel, and today is 12 Days of Cookies, day 11, and today I'm hanging out with my friend Justine. I'm so excited, when you said cookies, I was like, I am there. <gasps> I just feel like 12 Days of Cookies just wouldn't be right without you. So what kind of cookies are we gonna make today? They are like a hybrid, like if a pie and a cookie had a baby, and I thought that was perfect because I love pie for yeah. the holidays, and I love cookies, and I didn't want the pies to feel left out. So today we are going to be making mini pecan pie cookies. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Santa has never had one of these, I don't think. I hope Santa doesn't have a nut allergy. He better not. You better leave a couple options for him. <laughs> don't worry, girl. We got 12 options for Santa, so he could just pick and choose. Let's get started. I'll be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you want to make these delicious treats at home, you can. First, we are going to be starting by mixing together our dry ingredients. Justine, I'm going to put you to work here. Uh oh. In a medium bowl, we're going to mix together some flour, baking soda, and baking powder. These are so so cute. so cute. I love that. Look at this. Look at all these little balls. Oh, look at this. I have a super small, little bit bigger, little bit bigger than that. My bowls just grow in size like the Grinch in his heart. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we're okay, gonna, okay. Okay, okay I'm, a, yep. I'm a little, I'm a little oh, gosh, okay. okay, no, don't, I won't drop them. Okay, here. Oh, sh okay. what have I done? Oh, boy. Oh, do you okay. got this one? Yep. Or should I let go? Yep, no, okay. we're good. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. okay. Thank you. Whoopsies. Okay, now we're back to baking. Now Justine just whisk together till well combined. Okay. Once whisked together, we're gonna set it off to the side. Then we're gonna cream together the butter and the sugar. Oh, right. I was just testing. I was oh, just texting. Just making sure. Just making sure we're good. In. Remember, you want your butter to be soft, room temperature, and not melted. No melted butter. And then add your sugar. And now you're gonna mix together on a medium speed for a couple of minutes until it's really light and fluffy. Do I just jam this in there? Yeah, put her in there. Perfect. Oh, that's way softer than I thought. Isn't that <laughs> no, really okay, that's soft? Perfect. Literally smooth, soft like butter. Start on a medium. I gotta do the one more. more. More? Yeah, one more. There we go, there we go. And then just keep okay. going around. And at first it looks a little grainy, and then it will get really smooth. Should I go faster now? Yeah, go a little faster. This is looking good. Okay, well, it's okay if you hit my spatula. Okay, well I'm trying not to. Mm. It's a cloud in a bowl. Look at you, pro. Did I do something right? I'm gonna like start crying. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> you did the pro spin to get up all the extra stuff in the bowl before you removed. This is like it making me happy because I was hoping after years and years of us hanging out, <laughs> some of your tech knowledge would infiltrate my brain, and I was hoping some of the baking knowledge would infiltrate yours, and we could just like swap, you know, like 100%. download anything ever that went well in any of my cooking videos. It was because I learned it from Ro. Any tech thing that I have ever done is because. Justine has told me to. Guess what I'm doing this holiday season? What are you doing? I'm Upgrading getting myself iPhone? the new phone. What? I want that new port. Yeah, USB-C. USB-C. BC. I'll remember it. USB for baking, C for cookies. Yes. This is all done, you guys. Look at that. What do we do with this? Oh, we add it to the butter. So we're gonna do half an egg and some vanilla extract. Ooh. Oh, I'll throw this on any cookie. All whole of it? thing. Okay. Whole thing. Whole half of it. All right, now we're gonna mix together one more time, just on a medium speed until it's incorporated. Nothing fancy here. Look at this. Look at her, you guys, starting on a slow speed building up. <laughs> Justine, I feel like you don't even need me anymore. Hey, it's I like... do, I do, because you gotta put that in there. Okay, get, okay. That, get that in there. Okay, perfect. Boom. <gasps> She does it again. So good. It's beautiful. Oh my god, but what do we do with all that? Do okay. we fold it in? Oh. <laughs> I'm just into questioning. Uh, we do not have to fold this in. We gotta yes. mix it in this easy, easy. Yes. I'm realizing no I need No folding. To, I need to make this harder for you. Now just take all the dry ingredients like Justine knew, and we're just gonna add it to our butter mixture. All right, Justine, would you like to do the honors? All right, so low speed? Yeah. Okay, so low, we practice. A low speed to home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it, Justine. Oh my gosh, got I got so nervous because I wanted to make sure I didn't put it on the high setting. All right, so low speed, ready? Okay, you got it, girl. In yeah. we go. In we go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wait, that's that's fast. Little speed. dusty. Okay, little we'll dusty. turn back. There we go, back down. Okay. Ooh, these are looking a little wobbly. Do you think? I, well, maybe I put them in the wrong. 
wrong way. It's kind of like going like this. Well, while we're figuring that out, this is pretty normal for this dough, you guys. It's kind of crumbly, kind of like sand, and it is a drier dough because it is, you know, it's a cookie. We're gonna use it for like the crust. I see. So we're gonna keep mixing it, keep working it together just a little bit more, but then we're gonna use our hands and really make it come together. But just know this is normal. All right, this is looking good. Now we're gonna use our hands. This is what it's gonna look like when you're working with the mixer. But now we're gonna squeeze it together, pack it together into a ball, and then pat it down into a disc. You take half, I'll take half, and then we'll bring them together. It's almost like flaky, doughy mm -hmm. crust. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Okay, so you guys, this is what you want. You get it, get it in a ball, and then we're gonna okay. put this down. Little food safe plastic wrap. Pack it into mm -hmm. a disc shape. A disc is like a frisbee, guys. Like that. Just a little thinner. And the reason I like to go a little thinner is because when you pop it in the refrigerator to chill, it'll chill faster. All right, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Wrap this thing okay. up any just, way you want. Just just wrap it up like a little Christmas gift. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Now you're gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. Okay. Where's your fridge? This way. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a hidden one. So the dough is done chilling and we already rolled it out. Mm -hmm. And when we rolled it out, it's very thin, like an eighth of an inch, you guys. And I've got it on top of a silicone mat because the dough is pretty soft. And I actually put another silicone mat on top and then rolled it out so that it's just super flat. All right, so we're gonna cut out a whole bunch of little circles. This circle cookie cutter is two and a quarter inches and that's the perfect size for a mini muffin tray. If you want to show everybody the mini muffin tray, everybody, not the regular muffins. A two and a quarter inch cookie cutter is the perfect size. Okay. And we're gonna grease every other one. All right, so we got a little bit of shortening and then just dip your little paper towel. You can use your fingers too, just make sure you got clean hands, but this is what my grandma did. She used to take a little paper towel and you just grease the whole thing, the bottom and the side. We're gonna be doing every other one to make things a little bit easier and I'll show you why later, but just every other one. You got it, Justine. Mm -hmm. Perfect, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna start cutting out some cute little circles right here. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. Okay, which one did you grease? This one. Okay, perfect. You just boop, 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 put them in there. And it, don't worry if it tears because you just Squish it together, and then look at that. That Boom. looks great. Justine, your turn. You want to do one? Alrighty. Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pop you it got, out. You got it. Yeah, it's really delicate. Look how fun that is. It just goes right in. Isn't that cute? Yeah. All right, you guys, this is looking good. We're just gonna keep doing this and fill up this tray. Our cookie dough is ready to pop in the oven. For this recipe, we're gonna be doing a double bake. Okay. But don't worry, the bake times are very quick. So you're gonna heat your oven to 375, and we're gonna bake these for about six to seven minutes. They're gonna get a little golden brown, just a little. And then we're gonna take them out and push down the middle because they poof up. That's it. All right, here they go. In they go, in they go. So they just came out of the oven. Now we got started already. We have to like press them down in the middle. So we still mm -hmm. have one left to do. So let's do the honors. So these ones, I've just taken a wooden spoon and pressed down all on the sides. Cause you can see right here, this one's still fluffy. So while it's hot, take your wooden spoon end and we're just gonna press down. Just keep pressing down in the middle until it looks like that. Oh, and look how cute is that? It looks like a little pie crust. They're tiny little pies. Okay, so it looks like they're ready. Do we bake them again? Oh, <gasps> yes, but we're gonna make our filling. Okay. And it's really quick. So Ro just brought out a million <laughs> ingredients for our filling. Well, we've got chopped pecans, or pecans. Pecan pie, pecan pie. It's like tomato, tomato. Pecan? I think they're, they're chopped pecans today. <laughs> pecan pie. Okay, get your chopped pecans or pecans over here. And then we've got a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of cinnamon, one egg. Now this is a little unique. Okay, so this is like um, browned butter. Basically, you can do this in the microwave or over the stove, but you'll know it's ready when you get these little browning here at the bottom. Well, how do you make it? It basically is cooked butter. So you can cook it on the stove or in the microwave. In the microwave, 30 minute, second, 30 <laughs> second in anchor, anchor increments. Moments. And then you stir until you get this. And takes a couple of minutes or put it on the stove top and you just keep mixing until it turns like this thicker color and browns at the bottom. Dark corn syrup 
and some dark brown sugar. Not your light brown sugar. Dark brown. That means there's more molasses Ooh, in here. Looks good. So yummy, yummy. All right, so we're going to add everything into this bowl okay. except for the pecans. Okay. Those are last because guess what? What? We're going to fuff, 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 fuff. I'm not folding them out. Fold them in. I, I, I'm not We're gonna into that. Fold them in. Fold them in. <laughs> See, you thought you had to escape the folding. Thought I was free. <laughs> no. All right, so just dump all these in Kay. here. Boop. Oh, and this is really thick. I wow. mean, this is thicker than maple syrup. Look how thick that is. Oh, she's thick. I'm gonna be here for years. Two thousand years later. Look at that drip. You mean to get that in there? Yeah. Here. Okay, give me a scoop. There we go. Wow, yeah, that is super thick. So thick. Okay, now whisk together till well combined, and then we're gonna fold in your favorite. The pecans. <laughs> your pecans or pecans. <laughs> Guys, let me know. Do you say it pecan or pecan? Pecan. Now I don't even remember what I say. Okay, this is looking good. Ooh. Looks good. Oh. So I just put them in and... Oh yeah, you can just dump them in. All of them? Yeah, go for well, it. Well, I thought we gotta like do a slow fold. No, we go just... crazy. Go, yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, you do a big... Big oh, fold. Oh yeah, big fold. There we fold. go. Look at this, I'm folding! That's beautiful. And as soon as all those crushed up pecans are covered, we're done. This looks incredible and it smells so good. Okay, this is ready. Justine and I have both got some cute little spoons. There's no measurement to this. You're just gonna scoop some filling and then fill up each little cookie to the top. You can fill it pretty full here. Yeah. Ab about full. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then in between each one, just give your filling a mix because the nuts float. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I know, they just float to the top. I don't know why. I know things, but not everything. Okay, so we just yeah, dump just, this right in? Yeah, do a little scoop and just get her in uh -oh, there. Oh, I've made a mess. Oh, that's okay, I'll eat it. Oh yeah, oh wow, yeah. this looks so good. I want to eat these right Soon. now. Soon. Look how good these look. This looks amazing. Wow. These are all full. I think they're ready to bake now. How long do we have oh, to bake yeah. them for? Oh, yeah. So same temperature, 375, and we're going to bake these for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then we can enjoy. All right. All right. So back in they go. And ta-da! -da! Here are the mini pecan pie cookies that we made today. I hope you guys love them. They turned out so Cute! They truly look like a mini pecan pie. They look so good, but um, I don't care what they look like. What do they taste like? I know. We've got to eat one right now. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Oh. Cheers. Cheers to the double bake. Oh my gosh. They're so good. It's like flaky. The brown sugar. This is like the, the holidays. This is a bite of Christmas right here. What I love about it is that the cookie has this beautiful crunch mm -hmm. and then it's so buttery. And then the inside, you can see it has so much moisture. Pecan is not like mm. the first that I would go for. Mm -hmm. So if, even if you're not like a pecan fan, this is amazing. Justine, thank you so much for helping me bake today. Thank you for inviting me over to make these delicious cookies. I'm so excited to see all of the cookies that people bake from your 12 days of cookies. You guys are gonna have so many options for your friends, for family, for Santa. Hope you have a very happy holidays and stay tuned for tomorrow for 12 days of cookies. Day 12, there's going to be a new recipe and a new guest. <gasps> Who's it gonna be? We'll <gasps> find out. Whoa. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because we are posting a lot of content, a lot of recipes this holiday. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here. Or up here. I didn't even have to because well, you, not, we know where they, we know where they click. Oh my god, I love you. Okay, you guys go show Justine all of the love. I'm gonna put her links down below. She's the best. And again, happy holidays, you guys. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.